This is the textual analysis of Portrait of an Artist. The low key lighting in a small cluttered room connotes that he is hiding away from something. This could suggest that he's hiding his passion of art from the world, leaving it on the back burner as he doesn't have time to pursue his passion properly. It could also connote that he is quite a shy person as he's almost hiding away in his little room. This plays on the stereotype that artists are introverts. The tracking over the box with pencils connotes how he is a very hands-on person as he has all these tools that he uses, suggesting that he is very physical and expressive in the art he creates with his hands. They are his main tool. The close-up could also connote how these tools are very important to him and how art is a big part of his life. The extreme close-up of the pencil connotes his precision and delicacy in the things he does and creates. This could suggest him himself is a delicate and sensitive person because of his work ethic. It could also connote that he is a very strict person because of his artistic style, photorealism. It involves being very strict on how you interpret an object as it has to be very lifelike. He tells the audience an anecdote of his life and how, as a child, he was very artistic and creative. This provides personal identity for the audience, as most people can connect with being given pencils and crayons and being told to draw a picture or colour something in, in early school years. It makes them think of their past experiences that fueled their passion or that they might have forgotten about it. It makes the audience reminisce, therefore, creating connection between themselves and the artist in the documentary. In medium close-up of the man talking, you can see lots of books and boxes cluttering some shelves in the background. This could connote how he's a messy person and therefore feeding on the ideology that all artists are messy and untidy people. However, this is questioned because of the way he works, very carefully and precisely. You'd therefore think him to be more of a tidy person. There is an over-the-shoulder close-up of a man drawing, with the eyes being the epicentre of the shot. The process of him drawing the eyes could connote the process of seeing what he should be doing with his time and career, as well as the vision and dream he has for himself in the future, to not have to worry about where the money comes from, but to just draw and paint. It could also connote that art is the main focus that he would love to have in his life but can't. There is a close-up of a photo of, an, of the artist and his child with the words I love daddy underneath. This connotes how family is a key part of his life and means a lot to him. His passions are therefore pushed aside as he is more focused on family. This connection you see he has with his family appeals to a person's love and belonging according to Maslow's hierarchy of needs. He mentions how he tries to fit in eight hours a week in his art, but would love to do much more. He also says how he'll have to cut down on other things. This connotes his commitment and devotion for what he loves and the sacrifice he's willing to take to produce art more professionally. This presents the audience with the ideology that even though to follow what you love takes a lot of commitment and risks, it's all worth it because you love it. The tracking up the picture as he uses a cotton bud on on the drawing connotes the journey he's trying to take. As it tracks up the picture, it becomes more dominant in the framing and it becomes more clear. This connotes how he wants to focus more on his art and wants it to be more of a dominating factor in his future life. There is a close-up of a cotton bud wiping the paper with small pieces of charcoal being left behind. This connotes how sometimes when you're on a journey to follow your passions, you have to make sacrifices and leave certain things, people or lifestyles behind. As a result, you become lighter in load. This in turn can lead to things running smoother than before. This is seen in the texture of the cotton bud and how each stroke it makes, its outcome and mark on the paper becomes smoother. There is a montage of different shots of his finished picture. This is an example of his talent and ability to produce photorealistic drawings. This appeals, according to the hierarchy of needs, to the audience's creative creativity, inspiring them to pursue and explore their possible creative talents. It could also appeal to a person's self-esteem as the audience may see his work and from that grow in confidence and assurance to produce their work or enhance their talents in a to a similar standard. He comments saying, 
In an ideal world, I'd be doing that full time and all the time. This connotes how he has little time to do what he loves because of other commitments, but his hope to follow his passion properly in the future. This could provide personal identity for some audiences, the ones who themselves have lost sight of their passion because they've been clouded by other things. There is a close up of a man signing his name on a picture. This could connote his pride in his work as he has done and he is naming it as his. He does so very slowly. This could connote that he is a careful and precise person. This shot is also a long take. This connotes the time and care he takes on the details, suggesting that he is very explicit as he doesn't want doesn't rush a quick thing of writing a signature, but treats it as delicately as his artwork. The non-diegetic music is very calm and slow. This connotes that he is very laid back and a tranquil person. It easily fits into the background, which connotes how he is having to do his art as a side project in a small dark room, almost simulating the back of his mind. The music also appeals to a sophisticated audience because it sparks an intellectual feel to it as it isn't striking or trying too hard.